What's up, everybody? Woozy's back in the house as a member. What's going on? Let me get my chat where it's supposed to be at. There it is, and here we go. What's going on? I know I'm an hour early uh, today. Where's my camera? There we go. Uh, I'm an hour early today, so we'll see. NIFC, you're not late when you're an hour early, brother. And if you, uh, never mind. Um, good to see everybody, though. Let's see. Let's start at the top. You know what? Start at the bottom. Nubs Hunts Treasure, Scott Thacker, Hap Nation, Nick Let's Coin and Hobbies. Love the name. Uh, let's see. NIFC, Brian McSurdy, Hillbilly, Bazinga up in the house. Who else? Who else? Woozy back as a member. Love it. Love it. Uh, Chris Fidbrotten, how's it going? King and Queen Stacking, Farmer K, good to see you. And Boston Baked Beans, what's going on? Just drinking. <laughs> Cheers, Woozy. What's going on? So, uh, yeah, I'm an hour early. I do have to go to work today. So, uh, here we are. I text Big Mill, and I know he wakes up at a certain certain time. He is two hours ahead of me, so he may or may not show up. I told him, hey, the uh, code is in your inbox, so let me know. Chandra Gibson, good to see you. Streams way off with voice to video, stupid YouTube. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what you guys can hear versus what I uh, see. Let me, let's see, let's try this. Hold on. Let's just switch cameras. Boom. There we go. How about that? Does that work any, any better? Does that work any better? All right. Two hours behind you, not ahead. That's what I said, NIFC. Gary Clark, how's it going? Moose 2K, Moose 2020, what's going on? Good to see everybody. Natural light, get it off me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. Got you, nubs. No big deal. Uh, yeah, I had to, I had to like turn all my lights on facing this direction because all of this light from outside is right behind me so it's kind of weird had to change it people couldn't find my channel not bad same here voice and a picker together now it's off i don't know i don't know so you never know what uh youtube could have for issues so of course going from Streamyard to youtube to your phone to whatever so we'll see juan camacho how's it going congratulations on your win on rft the other day i don't think i've streamed since that win so congratulations on that one What's going on? Dig is here. Is Big Mill ever here? Yes, he's here every single Saturday. But today, I'm an hour early. So I wasn't going to call him and wake him up. He does work overnight, and he works a lot more hours than I do. So I'm not going to call him and bug him, and uh, we'll see. If he shows up, he shows up. If not, uh, we're good to go. It's a YouTube thing, not you. Yes, that's exactly what I just said. I agree. It is a YouTube thing. So if... Uh, Keep using the same stuff you've always had, and if YouTube has issues, then that's a YouTube thing. That's the that's the obvious answer. And I get when people go on like Rob's stream, and there's 500 people, and oh, we got issues and lag and lag and lag and lag. It's like it's a YouTube thing. You guys should should figure it out. Shout out to everyone watching the stream via LG Smart Fridge. <laughs> nice woozy, and that's awesome. I think one of my I think one of my family members just got one of those. It's pretty cool. Maybe just stuck with JW. You never know. You never know. Are the wildfires near Big Mill? You'd have to ask him that. I do not know California. I do not know how California is. I'm assuming the whole entire state is on fire. So uh, I would assume they would be around him. But yeah, I do not know the uh, California, how everything works around there. So, but I'm waiting on Miss Gina R to get here because she did send me something. So, we will definitely do that one. But there's a couple things that I bought uh, that we will go through and uh, and see. But either way, let's not delay this too much longer. People who want to watch it back want to get into it and they want to watch it. So we'll get some stuff cleaned up here out of the way. I don't know. Yeah, I showed those last week. So there's that. Let's see. There's this one, this one, this one, this one. Here we go. So this one's just something I bought. But if you guys, uh, what's up, Canadian Ryan? Big Mill can shout the fire away. 
I don't know, when you add air to fire, it usually uh, makes the fire a little bit bigger. So let's see. So we, I will show you guys, if you haven't seen them, um, how I get my stamps and how I have them made. So these are from a guy on Instagram called D-Wings World. From D-Wings World. And uh, these are the stamps. So for the stamping the silver. So there is the OZ right there. I know you guys are not going to be able to see them unless I do this. Let's try this. Let's try to put them all together. And we'll do that. So right there. So there's all the stamps that I had made. What's up, Josh Schultz? How's it going, man? But these, uh, so some of these I might have to grind off into make them so they don't stamp into the metal if I hit it too hard because the the rise is not quite quite there. So we'll see how they work. But there's those. We'll get into some silver pouring. Hopefully this week we'll see how work goes. We will see how work goes. And uh, Nubs, how you said that, Frosty up by you. I'm, you know what? I know you're talking about up there in Minnesota where Josh is at. But last night when I was sleeping at work, uh, or the night before, it was actually cold. And I was happy. I woke up happy because I was woke up and I was cold. So I was very, very happy about that. But So let's see. This first one is from... Do, 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 Boston Baked Beans. And I know I've had this. <laughs> he says perfectly good bag this is a perfectly good bag so we will recycle it we'll use it again so this is from boston baked beans this purple envelope says hopefully some album fillers or upgrades for your collection so we'll open that let's check this out and let's see what this that's for a giveaway so we'll do that and let's see what this one says this one is also a giveaway, and there's a note when I was sleeping at work, JW 2020. Well, Woozy, I work overnights, man, so I work uh, a couple days at a time. Here's a couple of stream giveaways. All right, cool. So we'll do that, and let's look at the other one first. Let's see. It was 28 degrees up there. Holy cow. I'm waiting on that. What's up, Sparkle Flare? Good to see you. How many more storms are headed towards you? I don't know. I do not know. I don't watch TV or anything like that, so I don't know. I know the one that just came by us totally missed us, so that was good. Um, all right, let's see. I see some shiny, shiny copper pennies. There is a 69D, a 56D, and a 1960D. So let's check them out. I don't have the microscope plugged in, so we're going to do it this way. So these look so much better in person. There we go. So there's a 56D. Let's flip it over and see the the wheat back on it right there. Pretty, pretty sweet. You can see the luster cartwheeling around. There's that one. Then we have a 60D. Right there. 64 in Texas this morning. Nice. Yeah, I uh, so I've been I actually wore a hoodie to the post office this morning, and I didn't feel out of place. I actually felt pretty good. Normally, where I wear a hoodie and it's like ninety degrees, people are always like looking at me like, "What are you doing, dude?" And there we go, and that is a sixty nine Denver. Pretty sure all these are going to upgrade. If not, they're just going to go in the shiny penny. All my other flipped flipped up shiny pennies. And these are the sticky flips. So if any of them don't upgrade, which I think they all will, but if they don't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in a warm spot because what I want to do is see, I've been curious to see how the the glue or the sticky part on these um, affects the coins after time. And the only way to speed up time is to warm it up. I'm not going to heat them up. I'm not going to destroy them, but you know, be interesting to see how if those chemicals in that glue would tone the coins i imagine it will but i don't know how much scott says i haven't left my house since i got work off work wednesday evening yeah during these times when i'm working i don't leave my house i unless i have to go to the store to get food unless i have to go to the store and get food that's it so there's those so thank you very much boston baked beans for those 
Let's see what these giveaway things are. Let's see what these giveaway things are for the next stream. This looks like a one ounce Statue of Liberty round right there. Kind of got that proof-esque look to it. So right there, the one ounce Statue of Liberty round. That's pretty cool. Love it. Can't get mad at one ounce of silver. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm talking about. Now let's see what this guy is or girl. Ooh, this one is the Morgan style round with the SI mint mark on the back. So there we go. Got that SI mint mark on the back. There's a reader that you can get to put over there and it will say, I think it says genuine or I think it says three nines, something like that. I think this is the one you can't look at from the side. Some of the other ones you can look at from the side and it says three nines on it. They're pretty, pretty cool. And there, Canadian Ryan just put that in there. That is my comment video uh, for the multi-channel giveaway going on right now. That, um, Silver Nitrate is hosting. You guys can check that out. I know everybody was emailing me and and messaging me. Where's your video at? Where's your video at? And I said, well, the more people that the more people that uh, keep messaging me about it, the slower I'm going. But either way, it's a put out now, so everybody can be happy. So there's that. So thank you, Boston Baked Beans. The next stream I do, uh, if you want both of those to go out on one or however, you just let me know. Hey, what's up, Silver Shark? Put those back in there so that way I remember from they're from you. Put these over here. There we go. So let me know if you want those both to go out on the same stream or if you don't really care. Uh, I could do one per stream either way. Uh, so we could look put your uh, link in the chat every time we get something out for you. So that would be uh, how we want to do that one. Uh, let's see. This is, I think I've done this one already. This is something I got from somebody on Instagram. One ounce of sweet American gold, he says. See you later, Woozy. This one from a guy on Instagram. It's called Stackin' NYC. And I definitely need to do an Instagram post for this because it's been a while. So there is his Instagram, Stacking NYC. Pretty cool guy. And this is a 2020. Yours to do as you please. All right, so I'll probably do it two different streams and do the two, two channel plugs that way. And here we go. So the 2020 proof that thing's got a little bit of schmaltz on the coin. Yeah, either way. 2020 proof ASE right there. So pretty, pretty cool. Right there. You can see the camera. It's got a little bit of schmaltz on it, but not too bad. Either way. go. Now it's a dropped coin. Either way. It's been drop shipped. Ha! Didn't click notification fast time. I think I was first. Nice. I was at my mom's for almost two weeks. Got out behind on watching videos. Yeah. Uh, so when I left the state, when I left the state to go home uh, because of the hurricane, a lot of people got mad at me for not watching videos. And I'm like, listen, I'm in the middle of a farm field right now with a house in it. Like, I don't have Wi-Fi, internet. I barely have cell phone service. So I was like, either way. But it's all good. So there's that. That will go straight into the collection. And then uh, you guys will see that on Instagram because that's how we do Instagram ones. Because I'll post a picture and tag his uh, page in it. Scott says, come on, JW. Hey, man. Either way, I got fumble fingers. So let's see. This one is another Instagram one. I'm going to save. I got one for Big Mill. And you guys know what it is. So I'm going to save that to see if he shows up. If he gets here. Uh, let's see. So this one is somebody that you guys have seen before. This is the uh, Haley Bug Art Pours. So this is Jay and his daughter, Haley. They do uh, uh, silver pouring um, together. This one is a street tile. So it's a Monopoly game piece. So it's kind of cool. 2.44 ounces. And here it is. So he does these. He pours in Dove Clay. Let's see if I can get it to uh, 
focus there. Maybe. Come on. There we go. So he does the Haley Bug Boulevard little Monopoly tiles. So pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. And this is number five out of ten. So it's kind of neat. He only is doing only doing a few. So there's that one to go into the collection. What's in the mail? What's going on, Paula Bloom? Mom lives in New Mexico, kind of middle of nowhere. Had to go outside. Yeah, that's how we are, Sparkle Flare. And once you get service, you don't dare move because you're going to lose it. I actually had to. Uh, so what I did was I went out to we um, I started a fire, like a little fire in my parents um, fire ring out there so I could sit outside and be on the phone because it was cold. It was cold up there. And I was very, very happy about that. Uh, so I started a fire and sat out there on the phone for a while trying to watch videos and try and talk to people and what's going on ringing constitutional how's it going if you guys want to go get a coin ring you can go on discord and get a hold of him on there but let's see this one this is from my uh one of my good friends who did a lot of the artwork uh, on the walls so you guys can't see it there's one over there and one on somewhere else I got a couple pieces from him. He does, this is a Patreon thing. Uh, so I support him through Patreon so he can buy new art supplies every month. You guys have seen this once before, but this is his little practice pieces. So he does them on these little uh, like business card size. There we go. Come on. There we go. So these are stuff that like, kind of like his little idea boards and stuff. He likes to go through his name is isaac uh so he is on in or on instagram and patreon i'll have to put his link down below because he doesn't have it i don't have like a card or anything for him but it's cool because he makes these his own little envelopes little origami envelopes so it's pretty sweet right there put that there let's see 1909 not vdb can't find a 1909 cents for my book. Spot's getting lonely. I think the only ones I have are 1909 VDBs. All the other ones are probably empty. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. But All right. Let's see. Gina R. I don't know if she's here yet. I haven't seen her. I did message her say that I was going to do this on the stream. But let's get to it. Do, 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 do. I suppose we'll use the scissors. Open that. That. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. This is good. This is good. All right. So she said, I'm sending you this as a birthday present because my birthday was last week. Here it is. It's a bumper sticker. Bucky's Beaver Believer. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Scott Thacker, well, you didn't message me. What do you mean? I just I sent you an email. I just sent you an email. What are you talking about? And there's hats. More hats. Oh, man. Let's see. Got you new Iowa hat. The other one is for your dad. All right. So let's check it out. Warning, keep away from small children. We'll see about that. Let's see here. See you later. Ringing constitutional. All right. This one says Farm Iowa. This one says build iowa there we go that's really really cool and it's the hawkeye colors that's really cool so thank you gina r that is really really cool bought on ebay someone etched the letters on the back wrong vdbs <laughs> totally fake yeah beaver lives matter says nubs yeah this one's really cool it's got the build iowa and then the shape so uh there is a lot of stuff in iowa right now because of the storm that they had there's a lot of like um Iowa strong t-shirts and stuff like that that they have up there and 
uh, as people are asking me to make some, I'll put it on my uh, Teespring page. So I'll probably end up doing that, do the Iowa Strong um, T-shirt. Get some of those out for some of my Iowa people. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, it's the same exact size as the green one. I like it. I like it. So thank you, Gina R. That is awesome. Thank you for the sticker. I'm not going to stick that anywhere. I want to keep it. So if I stick it somewhere, I'm definitely not putting it on my car. Um, I might. I don't know. I'll have to see. Maybe right here just in the middle of the table because this table does have all of everybody else's channel stickers over here. But that's really cool. So we'll see about that one. Can't keep this alligator down. I know it was short term, but I'm back. Woo! What's up? The pizza guy. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, brother. Is you eating grilled cheese? <laughs> Scott. Oh, my Lanta. Scott, that email was hilarious. I uh, I told that one to um, I told that one to Big Mill when I was on the phone with him last night. And he's like, dude, I'm eating. I'm like, I know. I was eating when I got it, too. So too bad. Why do you or people curve the bill down on hats? I just don't like the hat. I don't know. I don't like it when it's like way out. I absolutely hate flat bill hats. Um, I don't know. I do it on every hat that I have. I just, I think it looks better. I just think it looks better. And like, I don't know. Either way, I'm not, I'm that person that wears a backwards hat too. Like, why do you wear a backwards hat? It's not keeping the sun under your eyes. But yes, I like the, the bill curved. Uh, now, you know, like if you see my dad, he's going to have this one. He's going to push down on the top and all that type of stuff to block the sun from the sides. Kind of, kind of works like that. But then when I wear my hat like this, uh, I really, uh, it doesn't do much for me. Got to curve the hat. Yep. So I, I used to, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. I used to be that skateboarder who wore a flat bill everywhere. And I'm talking everywhere. If I have one, here we go, right here. This is a perfect, this is a perfect example. This flat bill hat, a trucker's hat even. This used to be me. This used to be me wearing a hat just like that all the time when I used to skateboard. And uh, yeah, so that was, that used to be the way I wear hats all the time. And I had a skateboard in my hand everywhere I went. That's how I got everywhere. It was a good one. Hey, Roy M., how's it going? Let me check something real quick. Ah, do, do, do. All right, let's see. All righty, there we go. But, yes, it's a Midwest thing wearing your hat up on your head, not pulled down on the way. Uh, I don't know if it's a Midwest thing, but it's definitely uh, the way I do it. But I know when I used to work at the grocery store, I used to just plop my hat on my head and just go in. And I didn't realize that my hat was like crooked. People are like, why do you wear a crooked hat? You know, like people used to do that wearing a crooked hat type thing. And I was like, I didn't actually, I didn't actually meant mean to like wear it crooked. I would just plop my hat on my head and go. And then somebody mentioned that to me. So then I was like really, really conscious about like, okay, my hat's crooked. My hat's not crooked, whatever. I just never understood it. Even grow up in quad cities around farmers. Yep. So it's a lot of times it's just get the hat closer to your eyes and um, most of all, I just think it looks goofy if the hat, if the bill is, if the bill is flat, I just think it looks goofy. Hey, what's up? AZ coins. Good to see you. Hope you're doing good. Saw your back. So I had to check in. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know how often I'm going to be posting, uh, videos and stuff, but here I am for this, uh, this mail call. I do have to go to work. So that's why I had to do it an hour early. Uh, let's see. I'm going to leave big mills for last just in case he gets here. But the next one is from Rob. From last week, I bought a box for my birthday. Hey, fill up the board. What's going on? Let's see. So let's open this guy up. And I believe there's two boxes that found silver on that screen. And I actually, I picked a different box. And then everybody else is like, no, no, pick this box, pick this box. So I thought, you know what? Fine, we'll go with that one. So we did that one, and it found the most silver that whole stream. So I was like, okay. No, Scott, this is work. I have to go to work today. 
this is my two weeks out of the month that I work really hard. And this is just a, this is simply just a break to come home, take a shower, get more food and go right back out. So I did get to sleep in my own bed last night. So that was nice. But So let's see. All right. So there we go. Wrapped up in paper. Yeah. <laughs> two big old things. Let's see. All right. So we have the, uh, <laughs> All the coins I got from that and then the JW typeset birthday gift from everybody in the stream. So I know Mike the Greek was part of that uh, new line, I think, sent a super chat for that. So thank you, guys. When will you do a metal detecting video? Whenever it comes out. I don't put anything on schedule, so that way nobody has any expectations except for Monday meltdowns. And even then, like you guys saw this Monday, I didn't get one out. So work, uh, work definitely takes precedence over YouTube. So let's see here. Cut this guy open. So much easier with a knife, but it's on my uniform at work. Come on. There we go. Using these ugly envelopes again, too. All right, let's get this out here. There we go. And we got that. Let's see. Holy cow. All right. Let's get divide this up. We got Benji, Benji, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Okay, so there's all the 40s. There we go. This, this quarter, this one, that one, that one. Holy cow. Get it together. All right, so there's four walkers, a 43, 42, 35, and a 41. So pretty, pretty cool on those. Those will definitely go in the tube. Pretty sweet. What's up, New Line? Just got here and heard my name. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Mikey, if it's the best time of the year, if it's the best time of the year to go metal detecting, I think you should be putting out a video for metal detecting. So 1908, 1907 Barber Quarters. Both of them are O's. So New Orleans Mint Marks. Pretty sweet on those. Let's see, I don't know why he sent me this one. Oh, it's because people keep marking coins RFT. That's why. So a regular half dollar with the RFT. Uh, let's see. This is another 40. Another 40. Quarters, 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 quarters. There we go. So we got a 59 Denver, a 60 Denver, 64 Philly. 64 Denver and a 63 Denver right there. So pretty sweet on the quotas. Quotas. What's going on, Michael Badejo? Hope you're doing well. Hey, T. Love it. Good to see you. Let's see a 42 uh, San Francisco and a 43 Philly. Merc Dimes. There's those. And then another one here. 41 out of Philly. Wish I had my microscope hooked up, but I don't. I've been taking my computer to work, so. Oh, uh, what I miss. All right. And there we go. So here's the birthday gifts from the people that sent Super Chats. So I do, uh, uh, let's see. This is a three cent nickel. So 1865 three cent nickel right there and then this one is a trime a three cent dime so 1952 so here we go let's see if we can get these to focus so there we go there's a three cent nickel and then this probably one of my favorite designs on a coin especially an american coin let's do this right there there we go. So that's a trime right there. If you haven't seen one, I'll show you the back of it. Very, very cool design on a coin. Very cool. Let's see. So there's those. Those will definitely go in the typeset. So I'll probably do a typeset album update. This is an 1833. So we got the, the large scent. So pretty cool. There's this. Do it this way so I can rest my hand on my computer. There we go. 
and here's the back so very very cool those are definitely going to go into the album and then the very last one is a seated dime 1851 oops i almost dropped it get in there actually you know what come out of there i'll just do it this way there we go so this is a seated dime or a half dime sorry 1851 new orleans half dime right there Maybe I'll do it this way so my hand blocks out the camera. No? Okay. All right. Let's do it this way. There we go. There we go. Perfect. So half time right there. So. There we go. Those are definitely going to be added into the album. So you guys can look forward to a type uh, or a 7070 typeset uh, album update. It's one of these days. There's that one. I'll say the ever famous line soon. It will be soon. <laughs> nice thrickle and trime. <laughs> the three cent nickel. The thrickle. The old thrickle. So definitely very cool. Thank you, Rob. And thank you to everybody else who sent in for the super chats on those. Uh, made it for a pretty fun birthday. The My birthday is not always the best day uh, every year because it's just the date. The date sucks. So having a birthday like on stuff like that and uh, like on Christmas and all those type of dates are really hard to have a birthday. Canadian Ryan with a $10 super chat. Did I miss your birthday? Happy belated birthday. It's all good, man. I uh, wasn't around for it. I was on Rob's stream. And then even when I was on Rob's stream, I had to go. Uh, I had to get going. So had a lot of stuff going on. Still stuff going on. That's why I haven't really been around. Uh, stuff going on with the family. Stuff going on everywhere else. So definitely uh, we're doing a lot of training right now at work. I'm doing a lot of training for people, for new people. So I definitely have to put my uh, my focus in on them. So that's that's why I've been kind of gone here and there. Um, but yeah, so we'll see what's to hold for the rest of this week. See what's to come for the rest of the week. All right, let's see. Let's do the last one. And I started to open this because I saw it was from Big Mill. And I hope he didn't send me mule sauce because the box is what he got his mule sauce in. So uh, there's that. But I know what it is. And here it is. He even told me, he's like, hey, I know what's in your package. Because I asked him, I said, hey, I got a package from you. Is it something for mail call? What is it? He's like, oh, you already know what it is. Like, okay. So I knew, knew what it was when I picked it up. So I cut her open and Let's get her open here. So let's see. There we go. Oops. Come on now. There we go. All right. Here we go. Oh, good. I'll have life to take care of. Yes. All right, Josh. Have a good one, brother. Perfectly good box. Holy cow. And this thing, this thing's not going to the field. This thing is going to be a, uh, a home slash work environment, uh, not field work environment cup. This thing is awesome. Would you look at that? These are the ones that his daughter is making for all his members. So very, very cool. You have the holographic grind until you find him. And then you got the holographic Big Mill OG 22 sticker. Red, white, and blue all day. That is awesome. That is cool. Of course, you always need cups like these. So i try to open it without ruining the seal. Never get mail except bill collectors. Oh, man. Oh, well, maybe it's just a pull-off. There it is. Don't try to twist it. It's a pull-off. There we go. That is cool, man. 
So I know he was saying that she was learning how to make these. So it's pretty, pretty neat. I see a lot of people start learning how to make these and just the, to do the paint and the dye and everything. It's pretty cool. And I told her that I'm going to buy one off her too because I want different, like I want some with my own colors, my own stickers. So I'm going to buy one off of her too. So that'll help her out and that'll give me a pretty cool mug too. I had a cut made for me and it says not to leave it in a hot car. Ooh, okay. So that's a uh, good advice on that one because... If you don't know me, my car is pretty full of stuff. So yeah, this is definitely going to be a stream slash um, inside only cup. Then we'll we'll go with that. We will go with that to make sure I don't ruin it. I don't want me to put it on my car and all of a sudden have all this paint melted down. Big Mill's daughter would kill me. Come on, J Dub. But all right, let's see anything let me get all this stuff out of the way do, do, do. all right there's that i think that's it i think that is it no more don't have any announcements anything crazy Let's see i will be doing a live stream um somebody gave me a collection to go through and categorize so I will be doing a live stream to do that a little bit. Um, I don't know if this person gave me permission to say who's it is. Uh, you guys don't. You guys do know the person, so I don't know if I have permission to say whose collection it is. Um, but I am going to go through and categorize and pretty much show like how to store collections and how to keep track of collections stuff like that. So I will be doing that. I'm going to be doing the digital file for it and the. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do an Excel spreadsheet or a Google document for it. So to be able to keep track of it. So we will see on that one. I got to talk to the person to see what they want me to do. Uh, I do want to do it on stream. That way, if you guys have a collection that you don't know how to or what to do with, I guess, and how to categorize and how to put everything away, all that type of stuff. So we'll be doing that one. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's all I got for, the, for today. I uh, hope you guys have a good one. Thank you for being here on Saturday. I know it was an hour early. So if you uh, had me on schedule for noon, I'm sorry, you're going to miss me at noon. But you know what? We record all these so you guys can watch them later. So I uh, hope you guys all have a good day. Uh, I'm going to go get to work and I might see you the rest of the weekend. I might see you tomorrow night for stream. I don't know yet uh, just to see what my timeline looks like. Um, but yeah, Scott says mine's all over the place. Yeah, see, exactly. So when collections are all over the place, it's not really a collection. It's just a hoard. So, but yeah. So, all right, you guys, let's get out of here. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Uh, and we will see you all later.